Hi, this is Lucas Marquardt from the Thoroughbred Daily News. We're here at Lane's End Farm in Versailles, Kentucky, on a very hot June day, to talk to Bill Farish about the farm's four freshman sires in 2018 with their first yearlings. They include Honor Code, Liam's Map, Mr. Speaker, and Tonalist. Oh, it's interesting uh, that the what what having four sires of the same year presents uh, the the challenges and the and the. Uh, uh, opportunities really we've we've done it before we've had had four um, in the same year and you know these four stallions uh, honor code uh, tone list uh, Liam's map and and mr. speaker all present breeders with a completely different uh, set of variables and and so I think uh, none of them really compete with each other uh, pedigree wise or even race record wise honor code uh, you know, from the time we bought him as a short yearling uh, privately to, uh, you know, he just was one of those very exciting prospects. I think he's got as good a group of mares uh, as anybody in the in the first season crop. And, and it's going to be interesting having American Pharaoh in that same crop. So uh, while I'm sure uh, average wise and stuff, uh, American Pharaoh will be number one in the crop, uh, I think Honor Code will be right there, right behind him. We've had tremendous feedback. In a lot of cases, look a lot like him. He's a kind of a throwback to Stormcat. He's, he's a real cross between AP Indy and Stormcat. I think he has qualities from both of them. And we're seeing that in his yearlings. And that's what we hope to see. And luckily, that's what we're seeing. Honor Code and, and Liam's map did meet on the track and, and had, a, had a great, great renewal of the Whitney. Liam's map reaching for the wire, Honor Code running out of time, Liam's map, here comes Honor Code, here's the wire, Honor Code, looked like he got him in the last stride. It was an amazing race and Liam really ran a winning race and I, I remember looking back, we were sitting not too far from the Violas and, and neither one of us really were sure who won. Liam had the lead and, and really ran a, a unbelievable race and, and Honor Code had to do everything in his power to catch him and, and just did at the wire and um, it was a great race and, and one I'll certainly always remember and uh, hopefully a race that will produce two top sires. Liam, you know, he was, a, he was a very, very good racehorse and we had never had a son of unbridled song and we were looking for the right one and I think we really have the right one in him. Uh, this was, of course, before Arrogate, but uh, but Liam is is certainly has plenty of of qualifications in his own right, and I, I think he's he's you know he's had three very good groups of mares so far, and uh, a lot of support from Vinnie Viola and and Teresa. So we're we're very excited about him. The interesting thing with him has been his his weanlings really have done well from from their weanling year to their yearling year. And I, th I think we're seeing them fill out and, and mature quite a bit. And I think they're gonna be very well received at the yearling sales. Tonal is to me, I think most people think of him as a mile and a quarter horse. Uh, but but in actual fact, he, he two of his best races were at a mile. So he had tremendous speed. He does, you know, he, he is a tappet out of um, Pleasant Colony Mare. So that would lead one to think mile and a quarter, but I, I think that's nothing but a positive that a horse would be able to carry his mile or speed to a mile and a quarter. And um, he's, he's, again, has had tremendous support from Shell Evans for three years and, uh, and also, you know, broad-based support from breeders. So um, I think he's got a heck of a chance to make it. Uh, and his, his weanlings certainly were the buzz of the weanling sales last year. And it'll be interesting to see how they mature to be yearlings and, and subsequently two-year-olds.